Okay, guys, welcome to Sports Matters TV. Um, I had a big Bellator show this week. Um, I'm joined by Bellator sensation Janae Herdin, um, who looks very composed, relaxed, ahead of a massive fight. Uh, Janae, how's things with you? Yeah, really good. I guess I've had a lot of time to hang out in my room, so it's probably why I'm so relaxed. I just get to like play PlayStation and chill around and, and watch fights, so it's been good. I love it. How's the, the training camp been going so far for this big fight? Yeah, it's been fantastic. I mean, um, it was a bit up and down. I was maybe going to fight at the start of October and then maybe a few other um, matches were options. So I was kind of lucky that I was always kind of had that camp mentality in a sense, um, even though this was somewhat last minute um, getting the call maybe like four weeks ago. So um, I was already ready and I was training and I have a good team behind me at the moment. So everything's kind of worked out really well. Epic. And speaking of your opponent, do you know much about her? Obviously, you're, um, you know, there's obviously footage you watch and stuff. Obviously, you're really confident going into this fight. Yeah, definitely. I think stylistically, it's a really good match for me. Um, I love that she's a little bit more experienced than me, and I love that she just came off a loss to someone like Julia. So these are all great things. Coming into the fight is a great motivator, and I just know that I'll be able to put on a really good performance and kind of show my all-round skills. Definitely. And speaking of Julia, obviously you have an eye on her. Um, is that a step that you want to perhaps take next? Or would you be perhaps looking to, to lock horns with Liam McCourt? Because we know that fight was supposed to happen. There was a lot of, um, I suppose, a lot of build-up to that fight. But do, do you reckon Julia could be next? Yeah, either of those. I mean, I would like to preference um, Leah just because I guess obviously we were matched up earlier in the year and we both have sort of said that we want to honour that fight. So I definitely prioritise her, but just with everything going on, you, I guess you've got to keep your options open and not sort of hold on to one specific matchup as that's the next kind of turn in a sense. And so for that reason, I mean, Julia, Kat, all of these great names. There's so many people. Olga, like someone that I wanted to fight that's had her COVID like limitations as well being in Israel and and these kind of things they're all good options so I guess the one good thing is that I'm I'm abundant with options of opponents in the next few few fights at least. Epic No, without giving too much away we have to speak about that training camp have you worked on anything specifically obviously we know you've got great stand-up you're good on the ground but have you kind of worked in anything specifically without giving too much away? Yeah of course um I've basically just been working the things that I'm good at. And then I guess after sort of spending, I spent a lot of last year working on my boxing and it, it definitely showed in that last fight. Um, but at the same time, it sort of took away from those other areas in MMA that I really wanted to keep. So at the same time, in the last maybe like, I guess, six months, especially we've just been putting everything together and everything's kind of finally falling into place and making me that well-rounded MMA fighter that I really wanted to become. I love it. And speaking of the boxing, do you reckon this is something you'll double back into perhaps after this fight or are you kind of more focused on MMA for this, for this moment in time? I said back after my last boxing fight that that was my last one. And I, I have, as much as COVID, I was obviously tempted with the lack of opportunity to fight back in Bellator and, and, and the ideas of not being able to travel overseas and everything. I did think about fighting again in Australia on the pro boxing scene, but um, I really just want to like work out this Bellator kind of world championship gold in, in a sense and just work towards my MMA as much as possible and put all my focus into that. So at the moment, we're going to put boxing on hold for probably in, indefinitely and then, and then keep going towards MMA as much as possible. No, I love that idea. No, speaking of your progression, it's been massive. You have a huge fan base. Obviously, we love you at Bellator. Do you fancy perhaps a world title shot next year? Because, you know, you're closing in you know, on that number one spot. Like, do you think it could possibly happen next year, providing everything is safe and, and COVID perhaps disappears? Yeah, I mean, especially with a division like ours, there's no really clear contender. So it sort of ends up, if you have a few wins, you end up really taking that spot. And for that reason, I think maybe next year or even early the next year after, um, I've got four fights on this contract. So I'd say we'd either be working towards the number one contention within this contract or the um, contender, like the actual fight itself um, for the belt. So either of those two, it, whether it's on this contract or maybe the next one, it just depends how things go. And, and I guess like fighting Lear and, and then maybe Julia and these, these kind of high, high level girls that will put me in that spot. Rightly so. So we have to speak about, um, like, as an MMA fan and as, and as a journalist, we always dream of that Bellator versus UFC crossover. Uh, could you ever see a fit? Like, you know, obviously, Amanda Nunes, is, she's a, a top dog in the UFC. 
would you like a crack of her maybe next year or the year after if there was such thing as an MMA crossover where Bellator took on UFC? Would you like to see that? Yeah, happen? 100%. That would be amazing. That was definitely like one of my dream fights. Obviously, the only limitation is being in a different um, promotion, but you never know. Maybe I will change over promotions or, or maybe we will get a dream fight and, and we will start seeing these crossover fights and, and unionize, I guess, the promotions. That would be super exciting, whether it's maybe the year after next. I would definitely say we'll start looking towards those kind of ideas and even the idea of going um, down to Bantamweight and, and working on that as well. So there's oh. all sorts of opportunities. <laughs> Who knows? God only knows. But with everything that's going on, we might see the the two presidents of uh, Bellator and UFC come together and say, look, let, let's see who the best is. But um, last of all, Janelle, obviously there's so many females in this day and age that are entering the gyms and they're not afraid to enter the gyms these days, thanks to yourself and uh, many top female athletes. But what advice can you give to them? Because obviously it's, it's, it's the thoughts of perhaps going into a gym can be frightening, but what advice can you give to them? I think just give it a go. I think once um, you kind of push your mental stamina past the daunting and imitating stage of, of walking into the gym at the start, then once you're in there and you're enjoying it, you'll find that I guess you'll get to love it and, and it could even be a possible career path. Um, for people like me and a lot of the ladies that are in our division at the moment, they kind of started not knowing if women were going to be in the UFC and, and certain ideas like that. And now that it's a clear possibility to make a real thing of this whole MMA kind of like journey, then I think it's a lot more reason for, for women to jump in and, and jump up in, into martial arts of any kind of variety. I love it. And just a cheeky, a cheeky question for the end. Um, obviously, big fight this week. Can you give us a prediction? Second round, KO to KO. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Uh, Janae, a pleasure as always speaking to you. I know you're very busy, so thank you uh, for speaking to us here in Ireland. Uh, we're going to be rooting for you this week. We can't wait for Bellator. Um, be safe, and we will chat to you when that hand's raised. Awesome. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Sports Matters TV, bringing the sports home.